Hello everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival where we are in update 1.11.12 which has added in the long-awaited mercenaries which were spoken about in the roadmap oh, yeah, weeks and weeks ago. They're finally here. So let's just go through the patch notes quickly. New event. Time to meet mercenaries. Having made friends with their leader and offered a small price, you can make a contract with one of the available mercenaries. To make a contract, you'll need special points. You can get them from field rations, first aid kits, and cards. To do this, you'll have to loot boxes in forests and kill a couple of zombies. So to me, that sounds like we're getting another system like the specialist, where we trade things in for points, as they said. Right, don't forget that mercenaries are like nomads. They don't belong to one place for a long time, so don't miss the event. It takes place from... This date here is incorrect. Just put that out there. It says it takes place from 25th of April to the 13th of May. That is not the correct dates. I've spoken to the devs, not sure what the correct dates are. However, the event lasts for 10 days. And it is available to survivors at level 10 and above. So, mercenary skills. Each mercenary is unique and has their strengths and weaknesses. Someone will help you to obtain ore. Another mercenary will increase your gained experience. Some other one will be afraid of going to bunker. To the bunker, that should be. And someone under no circumstances will go to the police station. Mercenaries and raiders prefer staying away from each other's business, so mo no mercenary will help you to raid other players. Be careful when choosing a true companion depending on your set tasks. A mercenary can die of a fatal wound. They can be saved with a shot of adrenaline. Look for needles in bunker, the police station, and at the farm. So guess where we're going to be going this episode? Contract. If after some travelling you discover that you want to be all alone, all alone for some time, you can always remove your mercenary from the group and get him back to mercenary's camp while the contract is still valid. When the contract is over, your mercenary will leave you, having left all stuff in the chest at mercenary's camp. Cool. Let's see what's going to go on then. If I can load into the game. Right then, so mercenaries' adrenaline shots can be found in the bunker and police station. So we're going to grab a few tickets here, and then we're going to head over to the bunker. Have I got any more red tickets there? I do not, sadly. You know what, let's, let's get rid of the, the um, scar. Let's put that away for a minute. And we're going to go over to the police station as well. But first, I think we should go and probably have a chat. Uh, let's take five blues. Actually, let's take three... Three green, five blue. That should be good. Right, we're also going to take a bunch of medkits because apparently we can trade these in for points. Now I think two rows should be more than enough. I've got absolutely no idea what their value will be. We're just going to have to go and find out. Oh, can I actually drink some water please? There we go, that's better. All right then, over to the mercenaries camp, and then we'll head over to the bunker afterwards, and then off to the police station. So we're going to see what it's going to actually cost to recruit a mercenary. Oh, apparently I've also been raided. Shame we can't take the mercenaries on the raid. Oh uh, well. We'll, you know what, I'll save that raid there, and I'll cover that in a separate video. Okay, mercenaries camp, this is what it looks like. They're hiding out on the coast. Let's go and see what is going on, on over here. I wonder if we come in at the top or at the bottom of the location. Yeah, we come in at the bottom. Oh, listen to that music. I like it. Old man slim. My guys can help you, but you know, it's not charity. So they're the things we can trade in for points. And this one, can't interact. They're patrolling the outside. Okay. And that's, oh, that's going to be the mercenary box where the items go. Ooh, choose a mercenary. Hoover, Jamie, and Lawrence. So, Towny can't go to the farm. Capable of carrying eight extra items. 
Smells terrible. Master of Hatchet. Okay, so they've all got different skills, which is what we read about. Uh, and we can refresh it for 10 coins. Let's try this. So what are you? We'll stay with you longer than usual. Increases gained experience. Expend medicines unnecessarily. Oh, well, that doesn't sound fun. Very dangerous, even barehanded. Smells terrible. Increases gained experience. Cannot wear any armor on the top half of his body. Um, increases the XP. Reasonable fear of the big one. That's good. That's... Uh, he's a fist fighter, though. Increased gained experience. Come on, let's see if we can get some good stats here. Can be unnoticed. Traveling with local requires less energy. Uh, what's your negative? Won't go to the police station. Has a little problem <laughs> below the belt. Okay, and this one's literally just terrible. So is he. Ooh, what are you? Not afraid of cold. Okay. Uh, can't use short range weapon. That's not that useful. Very dangerous, barehanded. Veteran increases gained experience. Come on, let's see if we can get something good. Health increased by 20. You know what? Elvis, I'm going to see if we can get you. So, you are going to cost 100 points. Wow. I might have gone overboard with the meds. So, we can hire. If they're going to cost 100 points each. We can get 40. Is that right? 40? Yeah, that's right, 40. Um, Elvis. Health increased by 20. Yeah, Elvis, you're coming with me. Hey, Elvis. Um, equipment, backpack. Okay, so we need to gear Elvis. Health increased by 20. Nice. Alright, you know what? I think we might actually try out Elvis at the police station yard. I definitely want to give this guy. I'm going to get him some armor. We'll equip him. We'll try and see if we can quickly get some of... Ooh, what should we do? Sorry, dealer. Don't want to deal with you right now. I'm going to get him fully geared up. I'll hop over to the bunker and grab some ticket crates from there. See if we can get some of those shots of adrenaline. We'll open up some boxes in the police department. And then we'll see how he handles in the yard over there. Not enough energy? Cheer up. Take a drink. Thank you, game. Yeah, just give me a free energy drink. Right, are you going to actually come in? Or are you stuck there like a zombie? You coming in? Guess not. Oh well, Elvis is staying there for now, I suppose. Okay, Elvis, let's get you some weapons and some armor. So I'm actually going to get myself some SWAT armor as well, I think. Um, chest piece, that can be for Elvis. This stuff can be for me. Ooh, that SWAT stuff is really low durability. Don't particularly want to go with low dura armor. So let's get another full set. We'll take a spare set just in case. Let's get that. Let's get that. Nice. Um, he's going to need some med kits because I did kind of just give away a load of med kits. How many have I got left? Um, 100, 200, 300, 440. Running a little bit low. I mean, that's still an absolute ton of med kits. But still running a little bit low. So one thing you should know about the lovely mercenaries. They cannot use active skills on guns. However, they will not miss shots. So they will stop shooting when bullets start to miss. Okay, let's give them for you. And I'll grab some shotguns for me. Um, let's throw that into there. Right, I'll be back in a moment. Okay then, we've made it over to the bunker with Mr. Presley, and the code is 95052. 95052. There we go. Now, question is, have I got nine red tickets sitting in a box here? Because if not, then it might mean that we don't actually get any adrenaline. We've got two there, so up to 23. Now we haven't. Ah, that's a shame. Okay then. Alright, come on then, Elvis. Let's see how you handle being near zombies. Are you going to go absolutely insane against them? Okay, good. So far, he's just sticking with me. His AI seems to be working. There we go. We've got two shots of adrenaline already. That's nice. Don't know how useful it's going to end up being. How much of it we're going to need to use. Now, will you attack the zombie here? Will you let me open the box? Hey, let me open the box. Nice. I'm actually liking the AI for him already. 
Okay then, we've got three shots of adrenaline. We're gonna make our way over to the police station and try not to starve to death. Which is fine, because I brought food with me. I think I'm gonna do this one box at a time. We'll start out with one of these blue ones and see if we get any adrenaline shots. Okay, you're standing too close to me. You can press that button and in theory it should push him away from you. Oh no, it cools him to you. There we go. Let's move him around. Three shots of adrenaline in there. See, now I've got no idea how useful adrenaline is going to be in the long run. But, you know what? I think three of them is straight up pretty useful. There you go. That's nine from that one. Uh, that's... Ooh, did I get any lenses in that one? I got one lens. Okay. Up to twelve. Awesome. We only get in one lens from all of these. We are only getting one lens from all of them. However, that is 18 adrenaline shots. So in theory, we are going to be able to revive Mr. Presley here 18 times, which might come in very, very, very handy. Okay then, zombie officer, you can be dead. Let's see how Elvis handles it. I think Elvis is putting in the last shot. Do I get XP for kills that he gets? No, I don't. Okay, so if you're going on the XP grind, you don't want to take a mercenary with you. Alright, in you come. Don't want to lock you out there when I shut the door. Let's do this. Ah, first wave is just a couple of these ones. There we go. So he fires very carefully, actually. I like it. There we go. Oh, this is going to make clearing the PD so much easier. I wonder if you can get one that has one that's got two perks of increased XP. Oh, look at that. I'm actually wondering how far we're going to be able to do this. It's multiplayer, two of us here. I know it's not multiplayer, I know it's AI, but it feels like actual multiplayer. This is what I've wanted in the game for a very long time. If we could go to these locations with other players. Okay. So he's not quite smart enough to step away from the brawler. You okay? You doing alright? Yeah, he seems to be fine. Um, let's eat up a little bit. Oh wait, how is your... Okay, so you do not have a food status. Cool. Right then, let's, um, let's both do this with M16s. Summon in the next wave. I'm actually really enjoying this. This makes doing this so much different. I wonder if the explosive if he will die to the explosive zombie. No. Interesting. Come on, help me take out the hungry jumper, please. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, look at that. Teamwork. You are a beauty, Elvis. It's curious that he actually shoots slower than me. I thought he would shoot at the same speed. Oh, I just missed the brawler at the back there. Sorry, Elvis. I know you didn't like that. You'll be fine. <sighs> right. Let's just carry on going. I want to see how high we can get with the gear that we've got. Oh, nice. He did. I'm not sure if he ran out of it or if he was just chasing after me there, trying to catch up. Ah, oh, he finished the exploder off. That's what he did. Oh my god, this... Having this mercenary here makes this dramatically easier and gives you a few more storage slots as well. Right. Oh, I almost died there. Shame he can't revive me with shots of adrenaline. Gonna need to be careful. Thank you. Now let's... Oh. Don't shoot, he's got his shield up. Okay, so that is a little bit annoying. He will shoot even when the right zombie's shield is up. So that way he will absolutely burn through ammo. Ooh, he saved me there. I was going to die to that exploder. All right, let's take out this one before he puts his shield back up. Oh, I missed way too much for this gun. One more hungry jumper. There we go. 
What wave are we at now? We're at wave 10. Okay, so this is going to be wave 11 here. This is where it steps up a little bit. Don't try and shoot through the gate. Come on, help me here. Good boy. There you go. You sponge all the hits. Oh, I can see his health in the corner there. I only just realised I can actually track his health. He's got his shield up, you muppet. There we go. Perfect. That was actually really nice. Quite smoothly done. Okay, let's get a fresh shotgun, get a fresh M16, and get some fresh booties. And let's carry on. I actually... Stop trying to shoot that one. He is not the enemy. Elvis! Elvis, you utter muppet. Thank you. I kind of want Elvis to actually get knocked down so we can see how effective the adrenaline is. But as it stands, he has gone 10 waves and is still kicking around. Like His armor has barely depleted at all, whereas mine, almost halfway gone. Let's switch back to this. We've got our spread shot ready to go. Elvis, I'm not joking with you here. Okay, so people, if you come here with the mercenary, make sure you're remembering to kill that hungry jumper out the front. Otherwise, it's just going to cause a load of issues for you. Take him out, take him out, take him out. There we go. Ah, oh, this is nice. All this for... So, a full stack of med kits. A stack of med kits will let you hire four mercenaries. That is actually really good if each mercenary is this useful. And if you have absolutely no luck getting, 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 getting any adrenaline. So if he dies at this point, I could revive him and bring him back in. Come on. How are you looking on guns? Okay, so you've gone through... What, two M16s? Yeah. That's pretty good. That is really good, actually. Stop it. Right, now you explode the exploder. And now we take out the big boys. Uh, I don't like having to use the shotguns for the full rounds. Let him put the shield down. Come on, he didn't even have a shield up there. He was attacking. Elvis! Come on. What did I tell you? That's not a good thing to do, Elvis. Right, let's get another fresh M16. I'm just going to keep going with this. Right. I had a treehouse when I was a kid. You going to add anything to it, or is that all you're saying? Stop it! Bad! Bad, Elvi. Turn around, help me kill the things that are actually in here. You're not wall tricking him. Speaking of which, wall trick is possibly going to be getting patched soonish. One of the devs is trying to convince the technicians, the people that design the game, do the coding, etc., to actually patch out the wall trick. Which I know will anger plenty of players, but I think it is a good thing because it is completely broken that you can do the entirety of hard mode only using your fists. Right. Elvis, I am getting a little bit annoyed at you. I won't lie. I hope that explodes on you. There we go. Oh, almost got roared out then. Come on, don't go Katy Perry on me. Ah, oh, you poor thing. There we go. Alright. How are you looking, Elvi? No, I don't want to chat to the Hungry Jumper inventory. He still hasn't gone through another one where in the time I've gone through a lot more. Health increase. That health increase seems to be working out really well for him. I know, I know you hate that one. It's okay. There you go. Good play. Okay, that's an exploder. Don't want... There we go. Honestly, having him taken these out makes this so much... Oi! I thought you killed that one back there. Don't just run off and leave it alive. Okay, I'll take it back. He was a little bit useless. 18. Oh, oh, I just thought of something. Having the, the mercenary is going to make the PD task for doing 20 waves so much easier. And if he could use active skills, it would make it even better. Because I am wasting a lot of shotgun durability here. I know I could just not waste the durability, but I don't want the video to go on 
way too long. Because we do our 20 waves. Elvis. Elvis, listen to your boss. Help me. Ooh. There we go. Elvis, just shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot her! Shoot her! Not... Ah, oh, I shouldn't have told him to shoot him, should I? When is Elvis going to heal himself? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can't even shoot it in the back at the moment. There we go. And dead. Alright, now we're going to do one last wave just to finalise it here. Start that. Stop it. Thank you. Good boy, Elvis. Let's do this wave. Let's make this our fastest wave yet, please, Mr. Elvis. Well, not really possible since I haven't got my nice fancy weapons I had before. And you've got your shield up. Move. I was trying to shoot the one behind you. They've both got shields up now. There we go. Dead. Oh, that was nice. No, create the crater behind the wall, you better stay out of it. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. So that there's something going on with the crater behind the wall. I wonder if that's just more mindless chit chat from him, like his treehouse, or if that's a clue that we're actually gonna be getting something out there. Oh hello. Didn't even see that was coming. Right, I'm gonna trust you to take them out. I am going to loot all of these here. So we just rinsed through 20 waves like it was absolutely nothing. Take it back. So yeah, M16, probably not the best weapon to give him, but it is a pretty good one. Right, so we came in here with three greens. That was it. Come on, I'm not trying to look in your inventory. As much as I like you, Elvis, I don't think you will have been taking the things from the bodies. There we go. No blues so far. Hey, we got our first... I don't want your stuff. Come on. If you could just stop following me for one second. Hey, we got our first blue. So we used five blues at the start of the video. Well, partly through the video. A couple of minutes ago. And we are sitting at one blue now. And what is that? Three greens? One blue, four greens, I think, actually. Two blues, four greens. Honestly, this is going to make Dear the PD so much easier. Only sad thing is the event only lasts for 10 days. This is not going to be the last time that we see the mercenaries. Cloud, one of the devs, has said that we will be seeing them coming back in, I think it was the outposts, I believe. Yeah, the outposts. So that is when we're going to be seeing them again. However, we don't know when that update will be. There we go. So we almost got... Actually, you know what? Once we turn them into the greens, we could get entirely those tickets back. So we can... We came in with three greens, we got four blues, four greens, 45 browns. I am incredibly happy with that. And you know what? Let's... Oh yeah, I forgot about these ones. Hey, another brown. Right, let's see if this guy... Goodbye, Elvis. Goodbye. Right, let's see if we can get any adrenaline shots in the locked boxes. Hoping that we can, that'd be pretty cool. And uh, not even a grenade in that one. I feel ripped off. Oh, you know what? There is actually one more locked room on this floor. Give me that. Right, let's go open that final locked room on this floor. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love Elvis. He is such a good mercenary. Good boy. There we go, chains fell off. We've just got one of these guys. Don't put your shield up. Elvis is an idiot. There we go, good boy. Let's see if we can get some adrenaline in here. I hope we do. And... Perfect timing. Let's turn my graphics down, otherwise it makes me crash when I pee. Which people get really confused about. It's, about, it's an issue with Nox. A few other content creator, streamery people I know also have the same issue. That's why I prefer blue stacks. Works a lot better. Go on then. Give us some adrenaline. Let's see what we can get. Is that a valuable? Nah, it's just normal survivor notes. Still free survivor notes though. 
And what are we going to get in this one? If we don't get in here, then I'm going to say that you can't get them. Yeah, I'm going to go. Looks like you can't get them. Oh, uh, well. Right. I think, everybody, that is going to do it for me from the video. They say there are more zombies across the river. Ooh, the river. I think we're probably going to be going over the river at some point, aren't we? Because that's where the the fog and the bridge leads. So either the river at the snow zone or the river further north, is it? Alright. Let's get nice and fed up here. Oh, go away. Alright, Elvis, I have a favour to ask of you. Will you please wave with me? Come on, walk this way. At least point to the camera. And then let me turn around. Beautiful. Right, thank you very much for watching, people. I hope you've enjoyed this first look at the Mercenaries update. I am going to be doing a lot of things with Elvis in theory. I'm not actually even sure how long we get him for. Thanks for watching, people. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.